Hi, I'm Tim. Join me in this video as I demonstrate an incredibly easy, super simple way to reverse the direction of rotation of any brushless motor, and more importantly, an extremely important, I repeat, extremely important thing not to do if you try to use your transmitter to reverse the motor direction. Let's get to it. This is a standard electronic speed control. <clears throat> there are three wires on one side, three wires go to the brushless motor. There are two wires on the other side, black and red, that go to the battery. There's no polarity on the motor wires. There is definitely polarity on the battery wires. If you don't plug the red into positive and get it backwards on the battery, you will destroy the electronic speed control. And then this is the connection to the receiver. The other part of this discussion is a typical brushless motor. This is one of our wonderful brushless motors. Again, we have three wires that go out of the motor. The reason there's three wires, there has to be connectivity for the magic of the electronic speed control electronics to tell the motor how to um, rotate when the fields go off and on because it is brushless. As I mentioned, here's the electronic speed control, here's the motor. The three wires connect. Notice there's no relation on the colors between the ESC and the battery. They can be a wide range of colors. It just doesn't matter. The battery wires are always red and black. So let's demonstrate how we can reverse the uh, direction of rotation of a brushless motor. This is a setup right here. This is a brushless motor with the three wires from it. Notice there's a red, blue, and a black. The colors are irrelevant. I have some tape here just so we can have an easy way to determine the rotation of the motor once we turn it on. This is a standard electronic speed control. Again, the wires that go out to port number one on the receiver. Servos would plug into one of the ports here for rudder, ailerons, and so forth. And then the standard uh, red and black uh, bat uh, wires for the battery. The polarity is crucial. This is where we pu plug in our LiPo batteries, and we'll use a two-cell LiPo. So what I'm going to do now is to plug in the battery. <clears throat> we have our transmitter on. And we'll go ahead and see what direction the motor rotates. So again, the throttle is always low. We will plug in. And just very gently, we'll turn it on. And we can see that the motor's running this way, counterclockwise. To reverse the direction of the motors is super simple. We take any one of these three battery leads and just swap them. It doesn't matter which one. We just swap them. So we'll pull the bullet connectors apart. I'll just pick the bottom two, swap them like this. And then we'll see the battery and notice it goes clockwise. We have reversed the direction of the motor just by swapping these two leads with the um, motor. You just have to swap any two leads. I want to take a moment to discuss with you the dangers of using the transmitter to try to reverse the motor direction. So this is a Spectrum DX6 radio, and like any computer transmitter, you will have the ability to reverse the direction of the servos. What it means when you reverse the direction of a servo, let's say that you want to go up so the elevator goes up. You move the stick down for the normal up position, but the elevator goes down. What you do is reverse the direction of the servo so that when you pull the stick back, the elevator, instead of going down, goes up. That is reversing the direction of the servo. But the important point to keep here is the transmitter <clears throat> is talking to actions on the servos or whatever the transmitter is controlling based on the stick movement. Okay, and we'll get into why that can cause you a tremendous amount of problems if you try to reverse it the motor direction with the transmitter. So let's take a little bit closer look at the transmitter display. And what we'll do is, <clears throat> with the Spectrum DX6, it'll vary between transmitters. But to get to the servo reversing menu, we take the scroll wheel, we just press it down once. We get to the function list, scroll down by turning, press on servo setup. We'll turn the scroll wheel once, press. We can go from travel to sub trim to reverse, which is what we want. So we can reverse the throttle, right aileron, I have this set up with right and left ailerons, elevator, and so forth. So the elevator discussion, 
Notice that the little um, black box is down below to reverse the function. We simply press on this and you can see the little black square goes up. So what would happen on that is that would reverse. If this was down elevator, we wanted it the other way to reverse it. Now it's up elevator by adjusting this little box right here. So let's go back to the throttle. The question may come up, why can't I just reverse the throttle with this right here? And I, I don't have anything connected here. So the answer is, it, there's a caution here. It says, confirm throttle reverse. Are you sure? Notice this. I mean, this is pretty clear. So we're going to go yes. Again, nothing's connected. And it says, important, bind at low throttle to reset fail safe. And then you've, you've gone and reversed it. So what we're going to do is we're going to reverse it um, back the way it was. What it is telling you with all those cautions and warning is right now with this little black box down below, let me uh, zoom back out. What's happening? This is low throttle. If you reverse the throttle, what's going to happen is this low position of the stick, this becomes full throttle. This would be low throttle. This would be um, high throttle if it was reversed. So what will happen is if you were um, not aware of this and you were to reverse, reverse the throttle here and leave the stick in the low position, immediately that would become high throttle the moment that you did the reversing. If your plane was plugged in, the uh, motor would go to full power. You could be on your workshop bench at home. You could be at the field. And all of a sudden, with one switch change of this right here, you have full power model going in whatever direction on your workbench. It could hurt you if you put your hand out to try to stop it. It could hurt other people. So a little bit long-winded, but essentially do not use the reverse function of the throttle to try to reverse the direction of the motor. All that the reverse will do will change this from low throttle to high throttle. If you reverse it, this would be um, high, a low throttle, high throttle if it was reversed. So um, again, the, the answer is very clear to reverse the motor direction. Just do as we demonstrated earlier, reverse the wires, and you're good to go. Thanks for joining me in this video. Incredibly easy to reverse the direction of a motor. It's very um, useful if you have a multi-engine aircraft or, or a uh, quadcopter with four rotors. You just want one to go the other direction, swap the two wires. Do not do it for, with a transmitter because that will reverse the function of the throttle um, control arm, not the motor itself. And it'll be completely backwards. It'll really catch you by surprise if you don't understand what will happen if you flip that reverse.